Praise the Lord. Bwana asifiwe kanisa. Praise the Lord Church. Ndio nakuwa na moyo wa furaha tena kuwa mbele zenu. I am also very grateful to be in front of you today. Na shukuru pia baraza ambayo iliandaa siku hii. And I also thank the elders council for preparing today. Ili tupate tena kutubia neno la Bwana. So that we may share the word of the Lord. Eh hatutakawia tutapita tunaingia katika somo letu we won't take too long we're going to go straight into that word ila kabla kuingia katika somo letu before we enter into our word acha niseme ya kwamba let me say this uh, nilipokuwa mtoto when i was a child wakati nilikuwa naingia kwenye gari when i would go into a car wakati gari naenda and as the car moved nilikuwa nikiona miti inakimbia i saw the trees running na zaidi gari naenda and the faster the car would go zaidi naona miti inakimbia the quicker the trees would run lakini wakati nilikoma but as i grew miti haikimbia tena those trees do not run anymore amen amen Nilipotafakari kuhusu hiyo. And when I thought about this. Nikatafakari pia kuhusu maisha. I also thought about life. Nikaona ya kwamba and I saw that watu ambao wanakuwa ndani ya Yesu. Those who are inside of Jesus. Watu ambao wanakuwa ndani ya Yesu. Those who are inside of Jesus. Wanakuwa kama watu wenye kuwa ndani ya gari. They are like those people inside the car. Na hiyo gari dereva ni Yesu Kristo. And the driver of that car is Jesus Christ. Wanajisikia wako safe. You feel that you are safe. Kwa kuwa wanajua mahali Yesu amewatoa. Because you know where the Lord has brought you from. Kila neno linatoka kwa kinywa cha driver. Every word that comes out of the driver's mouth. Ambaye ni Yesu Kristo. That is Jesus Christ. Ni kweli. It is truth. Na haitoshi and it is enough wanakuwa na furaha nyingi they are filled with joy kwa kuwa wanajua kama Yesu anawapeleka mahali pazuri because they know that Jesus is taking them to a good place amen amen niliendelea kutafakari and i continue to think nikatazama watu ambao wanakataa kupokea Yesu and i thought about those who refuse to receive Jesus niliwalinganisha na hiyo miti and i compare them to those trees Unajua muti ina maisha. You know tree has life. Muti nakoma. And it grows. Lakini ndani mwake hamuna uhai. But inside of it there is no life. Ndani mwake hamuna uzima. There is no life. Haijui kwa nini iko hapo. It does not know why it's there. Na watu ambao walikataa Yesu. And those who refuse Jesus. Tunawaona wakikimbia kama miti. We see them running like those trees wanakimbia kama miti and they run like those trees lakini kwa kweli but in truth hawatoke mahali waliko they do not move from where they are kwa kuwa ndani mwao hamuna uzima because inside of them there is no life uzima ni ndani ya Yesu their life is only in Jesus amen amen bas acha tuzungumuze leo let us also discuss today kuhusu neno la uzima regarding the word of life topic yetu ya leo and our topic for today tutazungumza kuhusu neno la uzima we'll talk about the word of life topic hii and this topic ni topic ngumu it is very difficult inakuomba ufungue masikio na ufuate it needs you to open your ears and to follow kwa kuwa inahusu uzima because it, it talks about life na hakuna kitu kingine kuzidia uzima and there is nothing more that is greater than life amen amen tutasoma kwanza katika kitabu cha kutoka we read in the book of exodus chapter yake ya 20 chapter 20 na verse yake ya 8 verse 8 Exodus chapter 20 verse 8 Msomaji anaweza kusomea Can I read it please read for us Tunasoma kitabu cha kutoka sura yake ya 20 na mstari wa 8 tusome katika jina la Yesu Amen Ikumbuke siku ya Sabato 
uitakasi. Amen. 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 Uikumbuke siku ya sabato and remember the Sabbath day na uitakasi and sanctify it. Tunasema hii ni topic ngumu. And we say this is a difficult topic. Inakuomba uisikilize kwa makini. It needs you to listen very carefully. Hii ambayo tunasoma and this that we read ni amri ya Mungu. It is a, a promise of God. Mungu aliambia taifa la Israel. And the Lord told the um, nation of Israel. Muikumbuke siku ya Sabato. Remember the Sabbath day. Na muitakase. And keep it holy. Israel ni taifa la Mungu. And is, the Israel was a nation of Jesus. Walitembea na Mungu. They walked with the Lord. Walikuwa na manabii. They had prophets. Na yote ambayo walijua juu ya Mungu. And all that they knew of God. Walikuta kwenye kitabu chao ambacho wanaita Torati. They found it in the book with, which is called the Torah. Na hiyo Torati. In that book. Ndio sisi tunaita agano la kale. And that's what we call the Old Testament. Amen. Amen. Na wale ambao walizungumza katika Torati. And those that spoke in that book. Ni manabii wa Mungu. Are the prophets of God. Yaani Israel meaning the Israel walifuata sheria za Mungu they followed the law of God walisikia pia manabi and they also heard the prophets amen amen hizi sheria za Mungu and these promises or laws of God wa Israel walizichukua kama eh waliziheshimu sana the Israel the Israelites respected them na walizichukua kama utamaduni wao and they took it kama culture yao as they culture ilikuwa kwenye desturi zao it was in their customs kufuata hizo sheria za Mungu follow these custom um, these laws of god na walijua kama hawafuata sheria za Mungu they knew that if they did not follow these laws Mungu ana wapa punishment the lord would punish them amen amen wakati Yesu alifika and when Jesus arrived alifika kwao he arrived to them kwao ni Israel and their place was Israel alizaliwa hapo Israel he was born there in Israel lakini alikuja and he came kama masia he came as the savior the messiah na walimuita mwalimu and they called him a prophet alijua ile ambayo wanaamini he knew what they believed lakini ilibidi Ajaribu kuwazungumuza kuhusu hiyo ambao wanaamini. He needed to speak to them about what they believed in. Kulikuwa kitu ambacho hakimatch katika imani yao. That did not match it within their faith. Ndio sababu waliomba wafunzwe. And that is why they asked to be taught. Ni kama mimi. It's like me. Nilipokuwa mtoto. When I was a child. Naingia kwenye gari. I'll go into a car. Naona miti inakimbia. And I'll see the trees moving. Lakini kwa kweli miti haikimbia. But truly those trees did not move. Na hawa wa Israel. And the Israelites. Walijua mambo. They knew things. Katika sheria zao. In the laws. Lakini kulikuwa mambo ambayo. But there were other things as well. Waliomba wafunzwe. That they needed to be taught. Amen. Amen. Na Yesu Kristo and Jesus Christ alianza kuwafunza. Started to teach them. Katika Mathayo sura yake ya 5 verse yake ya 27. Hatutasoma. Hatutasoma. 527. Yesu aliwaambia. And Jesus told them. Alikuwa na wanafunzi. He had the disciples. Na alikuwa anakusanya watu kama hivi. And he would gather people like this. Yesu aliwaambia. And Jesus told them. Mumeambiwa ya kwamba msizini. You have been told to not commit adultery? Ni sheria yao. It is the law. Ni katika amri ya Mungu. It is in the laws of God. Waliambiwa wasizini. To not do the sin. Lakini, however, mimi Yesu nawaambia. I Jesus tell you. Ukimtazama mke asiye wako. If you look at a wife that is not yours. Unamtazama tu. And you just look at them. Na macho ya kumtamani. And you lust over them. Tayari umezini naye. You have already committed adultery. Walianza changanyikiwa. And they started to become confused. Kwa kuwa walikuwa na sheria zao. Because they had their own laws. Huyu mwenye anakuya, this who, the person who came. Anaanza waambia mambo ambayo hawajui. Things that they did not know. 
Lakini acha ni kwambie. But let me tell you. Kila neno ya kinywa chake Yesu. Every word that came out of the uh, mouth of Jesus. Ni kweli. Was truth. Kila neno Yesu alisema. Every word that Jesus spoke. Njoo kweli. Was the truth. Na aliwakuta. And he found them. Watu wanataka kumuua mwanamke. People were I'm stoning a woman. Mwanamke alizini. A woman that had committed adultery. Walikuwa tayari na mawe. They were ready to stone him. Sheria inasema wamuue kwa mawe. And the law said that they were able to do that. Na Yesu alifika hapo. And Jesus arrived. Unafanya nini? What are you doing? Huyu amezini tunataka kumuua kwa mawe. This person has committed adultery we want to stone them. Na aliwaambia. And he told them. Yule ambaye hayawahi kufanya zambi he who has no sinned may they cast the first stone and they all ran away they did not understand and things continued to become hard when on the Sabbath day Jesus Christ healed the blind Sasa wanauliza. And they asked. Huyu anasema ametoka kwa Mungu. This who says he comes from God. Namna gani hawezi heshimia Sabato? How can he not respect the Sabbath? Iko anaponya watu siku ya Sabato. How is he healing on the Sabbath? Na walianza kumshakia. And they started to um Walimwambia Yesu. Come confused and they asked Jesus. Wale wa Farisayo. And the Pharisees. Kulikuwa watu waliitwa wa Farisayo. There were people called the Pharisees. Walikuwa wagumu sana. They were very stubborn. Na wale watu wali And those people, walianza kuambiana. They started telling each other. Huyu mtu hatoke kwa Mungu. This person does not come from God. Angekuwa ametoka kwa Mungu. If in truly they came from God. Angeliheshimu Sabato. They would respect the Sabbath. Wengine walisema. And others said. Tumuulize huyu kipofu. Let us ask the blind. Ambaye amepona. That was healed. Wewe huyu bwana amekupona. This man that healed you. Unafikiri huyu bwana ni nani? Who do you think this man is? Kipofu alisema. And the blind said. Huyu ni nabii wa Mungu. He is a prophet of God. Yesu aliwasikiliza. And Jesus heard them. Na aliwaambia. And he told them. Mimi nimekuja. I have come. Kwa hukumu. To condemn. Wale ambao hawaoni. Those who cannot see. Wapate kuona. So that they can receive sight. Lakini nyinyi ambao mnaona. But you who sees. Mugeuke vipofu. To be blind. Inamanisha nini? What does this mean? Wenye wanaona. Those who see. Hawa mutambue yeye ni nani. They do not recognize who he is. Lakini kipofu. But they're blind. Ame mutambua huu ni nabiu wa mungu. They recognize this is a prophet of God. Amen. Amen. Hiyo ndiyo shida. And that is a problem. Amen. Na mambo yaliharibika zaidi. And things continue to get worse. Siku ambayo. On the day. Yesu akiwa na wanafunzi. Jesus Christ was with the disciples. Walisikia njaa. And they were hungry. Ilikuwa tena siku ya Sabato. It was also on the Sabbath. Wakaingia mshamba ya, ya mtu. And they went to someone's garden. Wakatafuta chakula huko mshamba. And they took wakakula. food. And they ate. Wafarisayo wakamwendea Yesu. And the Pharisees told Jesus. Unaona mambo watu wako wanafanya. Do you see what your people are doing? Mushamba ya batu. Someone else's garden. Tena siku ya sabato. Even on the Sabbath. Ni hapo Yesu aliwajibu. And that is where Jesus answered them. Aliwaambia. And he said. Musiwe na tabia ya kulaumu. Do not have a heart of blame. Watu wasio na atia. People who are blameless. Musiwe na tabia ya kulaumu watu wasio na atia. Do not blame those who are blameless. Kwa kuwa. Because. Mwana wa Adam the son of Adam ndiye yeye Yesu is him Jesus Mwana wa Adam the son of Adam ndiye bwana wa Sabato He is the father of the Sabbath Hiyo Sabato ambayo mnasherekea This Sabbath that you celebrate Mnasema siku ya Sabato mtaiheshimu Say that the day of Sabbath we will respect Na mtaitakasa and we will sanctify Hamutafanya kitu kingine mtaabudu Mungu tu Anything else we just worship the Lord yule ambaye mnaabudu the one who you worship ndiye mimi Yesu it is i jesus christ walichanganyikiwa they were all confused amen amen basi acha tuseme ya kwamba and let us say this kutokumjua Yesu not knowing jesus 
ilikuwa shida sana kwa wana wa Israel. Was very difficult for the Israelites. Kutokumtambua Yesu. Not recognizing Jesus. Kwa kuwa maandiko yanasema. Because the scripture tells us. Kwa kuwa hamkujua mimi ni nani. For you did not know who I was. Mtaangamia katika zambi zenu. You will be destroyed in your sin. Unajua? You know. Hakuna njia ingine inapeleka kwa Mungu isipokuwa Yesu. There is no other way to God unless it is through Jesus. Neno ya kinywa chake njo kweli. The word of his mouth is the truth. Na ndani mwake muna uzima. And in him there is life. Sasa kama haumujue. So if you do not know him. Unakuwa nani? Who do you become? Ndiyo likuwa shida ya Israel. And that was the issue with the Israelites. Waliendelea kuheshimu sabato yao. They continue to respect their Sabbath. Lakini hawakujua Bwana wa Sabato ni But they did not know who the father of the Sabbath was. Walipenda waabudu siku ya Sabato. They wanted to worship on the Sabbath. Ila hawajue wanaabudu na. But they did not know who they were worshiping. Acha sasa niwaambie. Let me tell you. Kitu ambacho kilinipata siku moja. Something that happened to me one day. Hadithi njo. Story story. Siku moja. One day. Nachukua aka. I took one of these. Wa Australia wanakaita flyer. Those Australians call this a flyer. Flyer. Nika kitu wanaandika mambo fulani. They write things in it. Wanakunja, wanafanya mambo mingi wanatupatupa. They fold them and they make them. Ukilokota unasoma and they just throw them. nini wanataka. Amen. Amen. Na nilikuwa Congo. I was in Congo. Nilikuwa kwa ofisi ya kiongozi moja wa kanisa letu. I was in an office of a leader from our church. Nikakuta flyer. And I saw a flyer. Wameitupa ndani ya office. They are through, through in the office. Flyer si kazi yake kuisoma. The flyer is Kila mtu alokote asome. If you find it you have to read. Nikalokota flyer. And I picked it up. Nikaanza soma. And I started to read. Kitu sikujua. What I didn't know. Sikujua kama flyer ambayo ninaokota. I didn't know that the flyer that I Inaenda kupanic maisha yangu. It was going to panic my life. Maisha yangu nika panic. And in my life I panicked. Imani yangu ikacheza. My faith shook. Nilikuta nini humo ndani? What did I find in the flyer? Waliandika. And he said, Makanisa yote. All churches. Ambayo ina ina inaabudu siku ya Sunday. That worship on Sunday. Wale ndio watakuwa marafiki wa mpinga Kristo. Those will be the friends of the antichrist. Kwa kuwa hawaheshimu sabato. Because they do not respect the Sabbath. Na sisi tunaheshimu sabato. And us who respect the Sabbath. Huyo mpinga Kristo atatukataa na atatupiga vita. The antichrist will reject us and the world war on us. Lakini Mungu atatuokoa. But Jesus will save us. Na mimi nilishtuka. And I was shocked. Nilichukua hiyo flyer. I took that flyer. Niliangalia habari ya Sabato. And I looked at the news of the Sabbath. Nilisoma hii ambayo tunamaliza soma. And I read what we just finished. Ukumbuke siku ya Sabato na uitakase. To um, remember the Sabbath day and to sanctify. Na nili, nilichunguza maandiko. And I contemplated on the word. Na nilikuta Mungu ali, aliumba siku sita. And I seen that Jesus Na siku ya saba alipumzika. And on the seventh day he rested. Maana yake Sabato ni siku ya saba ya Juma. So the Sabbath is the seventh day in the week. Nilichukua dictionary. And I looked on the dictionary. Niliuliza siku ya saba ya Juma. And I asked the seventh day. Ni siku gani? Is which day? Nilikuta ni Saturday. And I found that it was Saturday. Saturday ndio siku ya saba ya That's Juma. That's the seventh day. Ni kusema it is to say wale wanaingia Sunday those who worship on ambao, Sunday watakuwa marafiki wa mpinga Kristo they will be the friends of the antichrist na mimi niko ndani kwa kuwa na mimi naingia Sunday because i worshiped on Sunday maisha yangu ikavurugika my life was scrambled nikachanganyikiwa and i was confused nikaogopa i was scared nilimwendea mchungaji mmoja and i went to one of the servants kwa nini sisi tunaingia Sunday why do we worship on a Sunday kwa nini why Sabato ni Saturday. Sabbath is on Ndiyo the siku ya saba. Ndiyo siku Mungu alipumzika. That's the day that Jesus Christ rested. Mambo aliniambia haikuniingia. What they told me did not enter my mind. Bas, nilipokuwa nikiangaika. I was very shocked. Bwana and the Lord. Bwana Mungu. The Lord God. Bwana Yesu. The Lord Jesus. Iko smart. He's very smart. Alipoenda when he went alituachia msaidizi he sent us a help na msaidizi ni and that help was the holy spirit na huyo roho and that spirit 
akiona unatafuta Mungu when he sees that you're searching anaangalia moyo wako and he looks at your heart anakusaidia kumaandika he helps you with the scripture anakuleta kwenye maandiko he brings you back to scripture amen amen Roho Mungu alinileta katika maandiko. And the, the spirit of God took me to the word. Na aliponileta katika maandiko. And when he took me to the word. Ni hapo nilitambua ya kwamba. That's when I knew. Habari ya sabato. That the, the news of the Sabbath. Hiyo wa Israeli walifanya. What the Israelites did. Ilikuwa kweli. It was true. Ilikuwa ni Ilikuwa ni amri ya Mungu. It was the law of God. Ila shida walipata. However the problem that they had wakati Bwana Yesu alifika. When Jesus Christ came. Hawakujua yeye ni nani. They did not know who he was. Walimletea matatizo kwa ajili ya Sabato. They brought him the um, troubles because Hawakujua of the Sabbath. kama yeye ndiye Bwana wa Sabato. They did not know that he was the, the father of the Sabbath. Sasa walimshika. And they kept him. Na nifuata vizuri. Do you follow me? Walimshika ilikuwa Thursday siku ya tano ya Jumatano. And they captured him on the Thursday. Ndio walimshika. That's when they captured him. Siku ya sita ya Juma. And on the sixth day, Friday. On Friday, walimweka kwenye msalaba. They hung him on the cross. Friday. On Friday, jioni, night time. Wakati jua inaenda kulala. As the sun was setting, Sabato inaanza. The Sabbath began. Amen. Amen. Walisema tumutoe huyu kwenye msalaba. They said let us remove him from the cross. Alikuwa amekufa wamesha kumuua. He was already passed. Sabato isimkute kwenye msalaba. But the Sabbath cannot find him on the cross. Na walimtoa kwenye msalaba walimweka kwenye kaburi. And they took him from the cross and they put him in the grave. Jua ililala. And the sun set. Sabato ilianza. The Sabbath began. Wali celebrate Sabato kwa ajili ya nani? Who did they celebrate Sabbath? Wamekwisha kumuua bwana wa Sabato. They have killed the father of the Sabbath. Bwana wa Sabato amelala kaburini. The father of the Sabbath was lying in the grave. Hawajui waliua nani. They don't know who they killed. Wana celebrate Sabato bila bwana wa Sabato. They're celebrating the Sabbath without the father of the Sabbath. Petro, Andrea, Yakobo, Yohane hawakuselebrate Sabato. All these people did not celebrate the Sabbath. Walimjua bwana wao. Because they knew their father. Bwana wao amefariki. Their God had passed. He was in the grave. They have no reason to celebrate. Maria and Maria Magdalena. Maria and Maria Magdalene. Walikuwa wameomboleza wakilia. They were also mourning. Hawana sabato ya kuselebrate. They had no Sabbath to celebrate. Bwana wa sabato iko kaburini. The father of the Sabbath was in the grave. Hiyo ilikuwa ni Saturday. That was a Saturday. Siku ya hiyo ilikuwa ni Saturday siku ya saba ya Juma. That was Saturday the Sabbath. Ilianza Friday, iliendelea Saturday. From Friday to Saturday. Amen. Amen. Na siku ya kwanza ya Juma. And on the first day of the week. Siku ya kwanza ya Juma. The first day of the week. Ndio Sunday. The Sunday. Maria na Maria Magdalena walikimbia kaburini. Mary and Magdalene went to the grave. Walienda kuangalia mwili wa Bwana. They went to look at the um, body of Christ. Walikuta Bwana hayuko kaburini. And they saw that he was no longer in the grave. Na malaika aliwaambia. And the angel told them. Kwa nini mnamtafuta kaburini? Why do you search for him in the grave? M- yule aliye hai. The one who lives. Amefufuka tayari. He has risen. Amewatangulia Jerusalemu. Mkimbie huko. Before you to Jerusalem. Na walikimbia walimuona Petro na Andrea. And they ran and they saw Peter and Andrew. Walisema Bwana amefufuka. They said he has risen. Mkuja tukimbie. Come let us run walitangaza habari ya kufufuka and they spread the news of the resurrection habari ya kufufuka ambayo tuna celebrate and leo the news of resurrection that we celebrate today ndio mwanzo ya injili that is the beginning of injili the gospel the gospel leo. that we continue to drive today bwana it is because Christ Sisi resurrected we celebrate the sabbath for the Jesus that is alive tuna abudu we worship sunday siku ya kwanza ya juma tuna abudu mungu aliye hai we worship the lord that lives amen amen bwana hayuko kaburini bwana alifufuka jesus christ is no longer in the grave he has resurrected ndio sababu and that is why uh, paulo paul 
Katika matendo ya mitume. In the book of Acts. Paulo aliambia uh, ni matendo ya mitume chapter ya 20 na verse yake ya 7. Acts Unaweza soma kwa kwa, kwa mwanzo tu. Just read the first part. 27. Matendo ya mitume sura 20 na mustari wa 7. Some katika jina la Yesu. Amen. Hata siku ya kwanza ya Juma tulipokuwa tumekutana ili kumega mkate Paulo akawahutubu. Amen. Achi hapo. Ilikuwa there. siku ya kwanza ya Juma. It was in the first day of the week. Wamitume wameisha fanya kazi kubwa. The disciples have Na sasa walikutana pamoja. They came back together. Siku ya kwanza ya Juma. On the first day of the week. Wakamega mkati. And they did communion. Na wakaubiri neno. And they preached the word. Amen. Amen. Ilikuwa ni Sunday. It was on a Sunday. Ndiyo sababu. That is why. Na sisi. Even us. Tunaingia Sunday. We come on Sundays. Amen. Amen. Watoto wa Bwana children of God Hiyo hayaishia hapo That is not the end Kwa nini Why Hii ni mambo ilipitika zamani This happened a long time ago 2000 years ago 2000 years ago Hiyo mambo ilipitika This happened Mpaka leo na sisi tunaendelea kuingia Sunday Until today we continue to worship on a Sunday Lakini However Yesu Kristo Jesus Christ alipokuwa hapa chini ya jua when he was here under the sun hakuangalia mambo yalipitika siku hiyo he did not look at what happened that day aliona hiyo lakini alikuwa anaona mbali wale zile generation za mwisho he was not looking at what was happening then but was looking far at the coming generation tufatane vizuri let us follow each other carefully alijua ya kwamba he knew that Watu ambao wanakuja kule mbele. Those who are coming after us. Watasherekea sabato. They will celebrate the Sabbath. Wataingia kanisani Sunday. They will go to church on a Sunday. Lakini, however, kutakuwa shida. There will be an issue. Yeye aliona kule. He saw. Kutakuwa shida. There will be an issue. Hiyo shida ni gani? And what issue is this? Ni milango ya kuzimu. The doors of hell. Milango ya kuzimu. The doors of hell. Hiyo wakati that time kutakuwa kizazi there will be a generation ambacho ni kizazi cha mwisho that is the last ambacho generation ambacho ni hiki kizazi chetu that is this generation tutaingia siku ya sabato we will enter on the sabbath lakini day. milango ya kuzimu itainuka but the gates of hell will also rise tunafuatana are we following each other milango ya kuzimu itainuka the gates of hell will rise mara kutakuya pandemic they will come the pandemic. Pandemic itasema wafunge makanisa. And they will tell us to close churches. Kufunga kanisa hii kwa serikali ni kitu kidogo sana. In um in a government it's something very small. Ni decision kidogo wanafunga kanisa. It's just a small decision and the churches are Sabato closed. Sabato haitafanyika. The Sabbath will not happen. Amen. Amen. Haitoshi. That is not enough. Kuheshimu Sabato. To respect the Sabbath. Na kuitakasa. And to uh, Inaomba watu ambao wanatakasika. It means it needs people that Kanisani are holy themselves. Kanisani kutaingia wanafiki. In church they will Kanisani come. Kanisani kutakuwa wajanja. They will come those Kanisani who are Kanisani kutakuwa makahaba. They will come those who Kanisani are prostitutes. Kanisani kutakuwa watukanaji. They will come those who insult. Kutakuwa watu wa aina yote there will be kanisa. All types of people in church. Misingi ya kuzimu. And those are the gates of hell. Haitoshi. That is not enough. Milango ya kuzimu itaendelea kuinuka. The gates of hell will continue to rise. Kuna mahali leo makanisa wanachoma wanaweka moto. There will be other places where churches are being Kongo burned. waliweka bomu katika kanisa siku ya sabato. In Congo they placed the bomb in a church Wa, on the Sabbath bom, day. Bomu liripuka ndani ya kanisa watu walikufa kiolela. And the bomb erupted in the church and people died. Misingi ya kuzimu. Those are the um, gates of hell. Na Bwana alipotazama hiyo. And when Jesus looked at this, alisema nini? What did he say? Alisema nini? What did he say? Tuangalie sasa. Let us look. Kitu Bwana alisema. What the Lord said. Matayo 16:18. Matthew 16:18. Us, usisome, hatuna muda. Um, do not read it. We don't have time. Bwana alisema. And the Lord said, Juu ya mwamba, and over, nitalijenga kanisa. 
I will create, I will build the church. Wala misingi ya kuzimu haita likusa. That the um, plans of the devil will not touch. And I'm going to build the church that the keys of the hell will not touch. Amen. Amen. What church is this? A church where prostitutes are A church where COVID will not close that gate. A church where the government cannot close. Do you know? The time of COVID. They told us to close the church. Na and we went on Zoom. We were at home. Tunafata kwenye television. We followed the TV. Tunafata maubiri. We followed the teaching. Kwenye Zoom. On Zoom. Lakini wakati wali display. But when they displayed. Camera ya Zoom. The camera of Zoom. Urajua mambo tuliona. Do you know what we've seen? Watu katika maubiri. People in preaching. Moja naweka ugali kabambi hapa. Someone who's eating. Na nyama za baba kiu hapa. And barbecue meat. Na hiko nafata maubiri. And they're following the preaching. Sasa tujiswali. Let us ask ourselves. Bugali hapa na nyama hapa. You have all the food there and you have the preaching in front of you. Unaeshimu na unatakasa sabato kwe. Are you respecting and sanctifying the Sabbath indeed? Basi. Acha tuseme ya kwamba. And let us say this. Kanisa gani ambalo misingi ya kuzimu haita kusa? What church will the um, gate of heaven not touch? Yohana sura ine. John 4. 23. Unaweza soma. John 4, 23. Yohana sura ine 23. John chapter 4, verse 23. Tunasoma katika jina la Yesu. Amen. Lakini saa inakuja nayo sasa ipo ambayo waabuduo halisi watamwabudu baba katika roho na kweli. Amen amen. 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 Hilo ndilo kanisa. That is the church. La siku za mwisho. Of the last days. Tunaenda kuabudu Mungu. We're going to worship the Lord. Katika roho na kweli. In truth and in spirit. Will the government close your heart? Will the prostitutes come in your heart? No. The true church it is the church that is in truth and in People who worship in truth and in spirit. La siku za mwisho. And that is the church of the end times. Na kwa hiyo, and for that, wa Korinto, wa kwanza, in the book of Corinthians 6, sura yake ya sita mustari wa kuminatisa inasema nini? 1 Corinthians 6, 19, what does it say? Tuko tukiangalia kanisa la siku za mwisho. We are looking at the church of the end times. Lile ambalo misingi ya kuzimu haita kusa. The one in which the... Um, Wa Korinto wa kwanza 6:19. 1 Corinthians 6:19. Tunasoma katika jina la Yesu. Amen. Ha, au hamjui ya kuwa mwili wenu ni hekalu la Roho Mtakatifu aliye ndani yenu. Amen, amen. Mungu. amen, amen. Amen. Basi, mili yetu, your body ni hekalu ya roa buwana. is a temple of the Holy Spirit. Ibada ambayo tunatarajia siku za mwisho. The congregation that we are desiring in the last days. Ni mili yetu kuitakasa. Is our bodies to be sanctified. Ili tupate kumuabudu mungu. So that we are able to worship. Ndani ya roo. In truth. Na ndani ya kweli. And in spirit. Kwa kuabudu mungu. And to worship the Lord. Ndani ya roo. In, in spirit. Na ndani ya kweli. And in truth. Buwana alianda. The Lord prepared. Ya kwamba atatutumia msaidizi. That he will send us a helper. Kumbuka wakati yesu alikuja. Remember when Jesus came. Alibatizwa. He was baptized. Ro alishuka. The spirit came down. Mfano wa njiwa. And in the sign of a dove. Akashuka kwenye bega laki. And he came onto his shoulder. Wakati uh, 
Yesu alirudi juu mbinguni. And when Jesus went back to heaven. Alimtuma roho juu ya wa mitume. He sent the Holy Spirit over the disciples. Aliwashushia roho. And he sent the Spirit. Na sasa. And now. Sisi kanisa la, la mwisho. Ask the last church. Tuone Bwana atafanya nini. Let us see what the Lord will do. Kwa ajili ya msaidizi. For the helper. Na hiyo katika matendo ya mitume sura yake ya pili and that is in the book of acts na verse yake ya 17 unaweza soma kwa kwa haraka matendo ya mitume sura yake ya pili verse ya 17 acts chapter 2 verse 17 to 18 mpaka 18 tunasoma katika jina la Yesu Amen. itakuwa siku za mwisho asema Mungu nitamwagia watu wote roho yangu na wana wenu na binti zenu watatabiri na vijana wenu wataona maono na wazee wenu wataota ndoto amen 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 amen, amen. amen. tunasikia hapa ya kwamba we have now come here yesu alipobatizwa when jesus christ was baptized ro alishuka the spirit came down wa mitume and the um, disciples walipokusanyika pamoja when they came together ro alishuka the spirit came down lakini sisi watu wa siku za mwisho. But us people of the last days. Roho hatashuka. The spirit will not come down. Bwana anasema nini? The Lord says. Unajua neno la Mungu liko smart. You know the word of God is very smart. Bwana anasema nini? The Lord says. Roho hatashuka. The spirit will not come down. Ila Bwana But the Lord anaenda kumwanga roho. He will pour out his spirit. Wote wenye mwili. All those with flesh. roho. Let them receive Kila the spirit. Mwili, those with body. Apokee roho. Let them receive the spirit. Na swali ni hii. And the question is. Je, kila mwenye mwili atapata roho? Are those with body who all, will they all receive the Apana. spirit? No. Yeyote ambaye alitakasa mwili wake. Only the one who has sanctified the body. Roho they will receive the Na spirit watu wengi watapokea roho katika ulimwengu pande ine za dunia watu watapokea roho na huyu roho and this spirit ndiye atatuwezesha is the one who is going to enable us ndiye atatuwezesha is the one who is going to enable tupate kumwabudu mungu so that we are able to worship ndani ya mili yetu iliyotakasika holy bodies na kwa kujitakasa and in order to sanctify ili roho bwana aingie so that the spirit of god may enter njia ni moyo there is only one way Mupe Yesu give to Jesus funguo za maisha yako aongoze acha acha bwana aongoze maisha yako may let the lord to lead your life wewe uishi ndani ya bwana so that you are able to live in na bwana aishi ndani mwako and that just may be able to live in maisha yako your life igeuke sabato let it change to be usingoe siku ya sande kuja kanisa do not wait until the Labda kanisa hazitakuwa zitafungwa maybe churches will be closed kwenda na maabudu yako go with your own sifa and your own praise mungu wako umwabudu ndani ya roho yako worship your god in your heart popote utaenda wherever you go abudu mungu wako worship your god mupe bwana funguo Give the Lord the key. Mupe bwana funguo. Give the Lord the key. Mupe bwana funguo. Give the Lord the key. Nilipoanza nilisema. When I started I said. Niliona. I see. Nikiwa kwenye gari. When I was in the car. Na Yesu ndiye dereva. And Jesus Christ is the driver. Kama Yesu ni dereva. If Jesus Christ is the driver. Hautapotea njia. You will not be lost in the way. Neno yote atakwambia ni kweli. Every word that he says is, is truth. Na uko sure una uzima. And you are sure that you have na kule life. Na kule anakupeleka. And wherever he takes you. Ni mahali pa amani. It is a good place. Mupe Bwana funguo. Give Jesus Christ the Mupe key. Mupe Bwana funguo. Give Jesus Christ the key. Bwana wabariki. And may God bless you.